technology is changing society and it's changing regulation. Businesses need to change their business models, they need to change their services, and they need to change the, their products. But to do that, they need to adopt technology. There are things that stand in their way, and some of these things are regulation that must exist, like data privacy, like competition, like how they collaborate with each other. We want to enable the sharing of insight, but not the sharing of data. The data should stay where it is. So we have developed a decentralized infrastructure, which is a network between computers, where effectively the data stays in the computer under the control of the data holder. And the algorithm comes to the data, takes the insight out, but nothing else of the data. The cleverness of our Air Platform is the 10 capabilities that are all out of the box, which is the Air Platform. Let's think about the big challenges that we're facing. And let's, let's take the topic of health. We need to gather as much data as possible from international um, patients and from different hospitals talking to each other to find the best way to deal with a healthcare issue. What the AIR platform allows them to do is to share that information with each other through a network of computers talking to each other while the privacy is preserved. So what does that mean in practice? these types of people who have these underlying conditions are more likely to be adversely affected by the virus. I don't care about the names of the people, I do care to know what that disease is. If we can take another example, for example, in insurance, how does an insurance know how it's going to calculate premiums for climate? when it doesn't know what the climate is doing. Not a single insurer is getting all of those um, data points. So they need to work together to create better products for their customers and to be more financially resilient. We thought about all of the other capabilities that we had to build into the platform in order to enable responsible data access, together with responsible AI, together with regulating technology, all through systems. Whilst we recognise that AI and data are the future, we must recognise that we need to get the governance right. The platform is built on three fundamental concepts. You've got data, you've got algorithms, and the computations that happen from these. The platform essentially manages how these interact with each other, who interacts with them, when and in what fashion. Once you automate these, you've got automated governance structures on this. If you apply policies to this, you've got regulation. If you can demonstrate that you're compliant with these policies through auditing, you've got compliance by design or by infrastructure. So automated governance or regulation or privacy preserving our data access will rely on a number of technologies, some of them being differential privacy, federated learning, blockchain technology, smart contracts. We recognise not everyone has the technical competence to kind of use these technologies. So what we've done is packaged all these complexities into one unified platform that allows someone to get up and running in 10 minutes. So you've got automated governance, regulation, compliance at a click of a button. The technology that we have built is revolutionary and it can deliver benefits across society, across different sectors and then the biggest problems that we have, including climate. When it comes to revolutionary technology, adoption is always a challenge. Customers are human and they are risk averse. And when it comes to regulation, there are a lot of sticks and they're not, there are not enough carrots. So if they try something out and they fail and some data is leaked, they have catastrophic um, repercussions. What we have to do is put in place programs that support the early adoption of innovative technology that de-risks it for the first customers. For us, um, Innovate UK funding was very important because it was validation that what we were building was important, was important for society and for um, the whole ecosystem. That was particularly true because we are building an ecosystem around collaboration. So being able to go to anyone within that ecosystem and say we're Innovate UK funded to solve a big problem that you all have was really important for us.